Pates, and welcome back to Wolf Quest Phoenix Rising with Charm and Calum, her new mate after Aspen. And he is doting over her, looking in her direction. Oh, they're looking at each other. Oh my gosh, guys. This love affair they have is so cute. So I went ahead and marked that elk so we could possibly come back to it. And I took this one territory piece. But we're going to be working on getting that territory put together. So a lot of cuts are going to happen. But I've been thinking about possibly going up and just starting to take that crevice lake territory. This is honestly the best time to do it because they are not as active during the winter. So we could go ahead and get Charm some points. Uh, to raise up her her confidence, her ability to move on past the tragic ending of Aspen and her five pups. So wish me luck, guys, and if anything interesting happens, I'll bring you back. All right, so that is the first point for charm. She has taken a small piece of Crevice Lake territory. It was really, really low. I wanted to start with that one because I think she could sense that it wasn't very strong and so she felt safe taking it. And so now she's going to see if she can't get enough courage behind her with Calum to take a couple more. And there's another one. So this one was 26%, just a little bit more, but she took it and she's getting braver and braver as we go. And one more, that is three. So this one was a little bit more. It was 36%, I think. So I am gonna keep going. I'm not sure, I'm a little nervous. I did hear the wolves howling at one point, so I want to be careful. I think what we might do is we might take these two up here, the 41% being the highest she'll probably take, and then we'll start going back in. Because all the dens are in the middle anyway, so we don't want to take too much of this den nearby, really. <gasps> Yay, we found a den! So as I'm thinking, like, Charm has a vendetta against the Crevice Lake, right? And she wants to kind of do a silent annihilation. I don't even know, like, she does want to kill the Alpha for sure, right? But she doesn't want to annihilate the whole pack. So this is kind of like her silent annihilation of the Crevice Lake by just taking as many pieces that she can from them and keeping it from them where their pack is much smaller than it used to be, if that makes sense. She's not giving them enough space to grow and become stronger, in other words. Okay, so I have caught the scent of an item and Charm, because of her quirk, can't help but go and mourn at it. Unfortunately though, I smell stranger wolves, so we need to be kind of careful. Oh, it's the Frisbee. So we're gonna let her howl a little bit in mourning for Aspen, like her quirk says. We may attract the attention of the other wolves, but we're about to go take their scent marker. So hopefully we take it before they find us. And we took it. Ah, oh, Charm and Calum are on a roll. They are definitely proving to be a powerful couple and not to be messed with for sure. All right, and I think that is the last one that Charm is going to take from the Crevice Lake pack for now. We're gonna start going back into the unclaimed territories to give her some space away from them as well. She still has her goals, but she doesn't want her family anywhere near them if she can help it. Okay, so we are at the point where we will name our pack and I think with it being appropriate to her story, appropriate to the story arc title even, we are going to call this the Phoenix Pack because it is the pack that dwindled but rose from the ashes. So Charm is no longer a part of the Snagglefang Pack because that was Aspen. 
So she went on and started her own pack and this is the Phoenix pack. So I think this is perfect for her and her story. And for story's sake, we're gonna say that the Snagglefang pack and the Phoenix pack at the moment are in good terms with each other. So there won't be any pack rivalries between the two of them, which is good. But this is still her own pack and she will be the first of it. All right, I am taking Charm and Calum to a den that I think is perfect for them. It's far enough away from the Crevice Lake pack that I think Charm will feel safe, but it's close enough that she can keep her eye on them and keep pushing them back away from her family. So we are going with this den. I love this den, by the way. It can be a little complicated sometimes. Like I've seen pups try and climb the mountain and I'm like, pups, what are you doing? But I love this den. I think it's gonna be perfect for her. And we are going to call it, um, we are going to call it Aspen Overlook in honor of Aspen as a way that he is watching out for charm and, and even Caleb because I think that Aspen would want charm to succeed. Okay, it's a birthday time and then puppies time. Let's do it. Okay, okay, okay. View perks. All right, I definitely want Territorial Might. This is going to help her a lot in maintaining the hexes that the Crevice Lake pack uh, usually has. And if she can maintain that and keep them pushed back, that's good. <laughs> that's more points for her. And it also keeps them from being a threat, like at all. I do love the idea of youthful prowess, simply for the fact that six pup, sick pups are more likely to recover. So we will probably take that. And then I think I'm going to give charm. She has a plus in stamina. She's just low on health. I think that's okay. We're gonna give her a little more bite power so that she can do more damage against those crevice lake alphas potentially advance to age four. Oh my gosh puppies are about to happen okay 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 let's do this how many <gasps> yes she had seven. Oh my gosh she had seven yes Oh, I'm gonna cry, guys. I'm sorry. I don't know why I get so emotional about these things. But Charm, I wanted, I wanted to see her succeed. And I've already played a little bit of Dawn and Aurora specifically, and there's been awesome times and there's been struggles already. And I just want Charm to, I want them all to succeed, but I want Charm to succeed so bad. Seven pups, that is amazing. Okay. So I'm going to do a thing where for a whole rest of this episode, I am going to possibly not name them until I get a better gauge on their personality. So here we have, oh, so this is a little female. This is our fourth female right here. How many females? Oh my gosh, how many females do we have? Okay, so we've got three males and four females. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see. All of our little girls are coming out first. Look at this. Oh, there's our little second female. We have a lot of lighter puppies in this litter, probably because Charm isn't too dark herself and Calum is a very light gray. Although... Is his coat considered black? I know one of the gray coats is considered a black coat. So you guys let me know that in the comments below. And while you're down there, like and subscribe if you aren't already. <laughs> okay. Let's get another look. So there's our little fifth female. Oh, look at you. Look at you. So there's our fourth male. Hello, baby. Oh, look, you're very hyper. And they're very hungry. Oh, Caleb's gonna feed. Look at you. You're so playful. Look at you. I'm just gonna say that like 50 times. Oh, Caleb's like, hey, they're beautiful. You did a good job. You did a great job. You made some beautiful babies. Look, he's already looking after 
<laughs> uh oh. Uh oh, we already have an escapee. Okay, so we already have a bold one. Yep. So 4F is going to be our bold one, I can already tell. So that's pretty cool. We're already getting some personality traits. Oh, are you hungry? Let's feed you real quick. Oh, look at 2M. Oh, 2M is going to look like his dad for sure. Oh, look at you. Yep. Yep. I need a look at you counter. <laughs> Are you gonna look like your mom? Huh? What about you? Are you gonna look like your mom? So I think 5F is our dark one, which is kind of odd because like I said, Charm and Calum are both pretty light. And most of these pups are pretty light. So 5F is kind of the odd one out just a little bit. Let's see, 2M, are you? So you're not as social it looks like. You are so pretty though, look at you. Okay, so who's hungry? <gasps> 3M hasn't eaten anything, oh no! Come here baby, where are you? Come here, come here. I can't regurgitate. Caleb, can you? He can. Here, let's, let's go bother him. So Caleb is a little more distant He's weird, like he's half distant, half not. So he comes in and he's like, hey, I wanna be a part of it. And then he like, he like needs his space. He's really interesting in that way. Oh, he whined at me. He wants me to go with him. Interesting. So our affinity right now is 100%. I definitely think a small hunt would do us some good and taking a little more territory, but I want to make sure the pups have plenty of food. That's my big goal right now. Especially 3M. Looks like he didn't get a whole lot, so I want to make sure we've got plenty. Yeah, so Caleb's already leaving. That's why he whined. He wanted so badly for me to go with him, and we are, but I want to get the pups in a safe place first. Okay, so now that they're safe, we're gonna go after Caleb and see if we can't help him with a hunt. And he definitely reminds me of Kirby in some ways. He's really passionate about us, but he's still a little distant from the kids. That might play into his past a little bit because he's the same age as us. So what if maybe he possibly also had a litter or he had a family that he was close to and lost his family and so now Maybe he's distancing himself because he's afraid of that pain again, but he can't help but be loving, if that makes sense. Let's, uh, let's give him some kisses. And then we're gonna go on that hunt. So this is what I love about being in this part of the map is all of the elk are pretty much in this area at the start. And he's already chosen. Ow, that wasn't very nice. Oh, uh, I think we could have done better, but I trust Caleb. There she goes. There they all go. Very nice. We might find a weaker one. Who knows? This one looks pretty weak. Fell behind. Oh, yeah. This was a good one. This was better. Sorry, Caleb. But this was just a better one in general. One... To, oh, we're bringing her down. This is too easy. It's so different playing on challenging. I can't say that enough. Accurate is so rough. It's weird though, because I will play on accurate with other wolves and be fine. And then I'll get that one wolf that just won't do well. And it, it, it almost tricks you because you have one good run through with accurate, like, ah, I can absolutely do this. This is great. This is going so well. Like Mikhail. I mean, he had some rough times too, but most of the time everything just kind of fell in his lap. But then Aspen, it was like everything that could go wrong went wrong. And we're seeing that a little bit with uh, Dawn and Aurora. Without spoiling too much, we are seeing that with them. All right, we marked this. How does our territory look right now? fantastical honestly uh 
we might go back and feed the pups and then do some more territory taking. I would love to see Charm have an amazing territory. And we're back. Oh, good. And 3M was out to meet us right away. He knew we were bringing in more food. And so he hopped right out of that den like, yes, feed me. I'm starving. So it is interesting to me that he was truly the last to eat. That could show a little bit of submissiveness, some passiveness, um, or just that he wants his family to eat first. But he ended up not getting to eat because of that. So I remember Aurora doing that from a lot of uh, you guys telling me that Aurora would eat last. And I keep forgetting when I'm playing her to do that as a quirk. Um, but I've noticed that already with 3M, that he kind of waited for everybody. Oh, very playful pups. Very playful. Uh-huh. And there's 4F. Yeah, she's definitely going to be our antisocial one. She's, she's going to be the dawn of the group. <laughs> oh, are you the dawn of the group, love? Are you the dawn of the group? Uh, don't go too far. And meanwhile, 2M and 2F are snuggling in the den. So they might be our lazy ones because they didn't come out when we got back. So that's interesting. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to do something a little bit special here. I think I'm going to name the babies kind of as I see them. So I have two names already completely and totally picked out for uh, the pups. I just wanted to make sure I was giving them to the right pup. Um, but right away, oh, there is a name that I want to go ahead and give one of these babies. I'm just trying to decide whether to do it between 5F or 3F. Oh! So 5F is very playful, and she seems to stay pretty close to the family. Uh, 3F, I see a little bit of Caleb's attitude where she likes to be close, but she doesn't mind wandering off just a little bit. These are all my close babies. Now 3M is by themselves. Oh, now 4F is over here playing. Okay. Aww. So... I think I've decided for one, I am going to name 3F Wendy. And the reason for this is one of my amazing um, viewers, community members, uh, Jude, uh, lost their grandmother and her name was Wendy. So I am naming this one Wendy uh, as a way to uh, honor her. Uh, so Jude, this one's for you, and I will do my very, very, very best to protect Wendy. Obviously, anything can happen, but I will do my best to protect Wendy. And I think 3F is a perfect pup for the name Wendy. All right, baby. So Wendy is the first to receive her name, and here she is. <laughs> I have another name picked out for a male, but I kind of want to choose the right one. I'm kind of looking at you, 3M, just because you are so sweet and kind of passive. I think it might fit you, but I also like 4M for it. So we're going to we're gonna watch their personalities a little more and we'll name as we go. Okay, is everybody full? So 2M still hasn't eaten. It's still in the den, children 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 They're... do you just not want to be with mom okay 2m is coming out i want to see more of you child i uh, other than you being lazy i don't know much about you <laughs> very very cute very cute <laughs> oh don't go too far windy I kind of like this whole like name as we go thing because we get to see their personalities come out. I love how playful Wendy is. She's a runner. She loves to run. Oh my goodness. 2F stays pretty close. 2M. <laughs> 2M is a hot mess. 
<laughs> okay. All right, babies. Go ahead and go back in. We might actually could leave Calum here while we take territory. There's really no reason for him to help us at all. Yeah, I think we're, we're going to do that. We're going to tell the pups to go in, but we are going to leave him here. And we're going to go take some more territory. Oh, Caleb, you love to sing, and I love that you love to sing. All right. So I'm going to head out, and if anything interesting happens while I take territory, I will bring you guys back. So nothing truly that interesting happened, but I just happened to look over the the horizon a little bit, and... I had to take a moment to just really appreciate how beautiful this game is because you forget sometimes just how much was put into this game and just how stunning it is. Even this on this other side and just looking at the hills and all the trees swaying, there was so much love put into this game and I love seeing it. So I had to bring you in for this beautiful view. I never really get to play in the side of the map, so it's been a nice change just to kind of look around. Even though Charm, she looks upon this and she sees herself hunting with Aspen, they went deeper and deeper into the woods on the other side. So she remembers the beginning of her life with him in this area, but she's now with Calum and she's got new pups. She's moving on, but not in a way where she'll ever forget Aspen, but in a way where she can honor him by moving on with his memory. All right, we are back at the den. I'm calling the pups out for a final time. We are going to do a very, very quick um, pup cam so we can kind of see what the babies look like. So here is 2M, who is gray and almost black on the back, playing with a bone. He seems to have a little bit of a lazy trait. He stayed in the den for a little bit when we didn't call him out. So that's the first thing I'm kind of noticing about him. Here we have 3M, a sleepy red boy. And I'm kind of thinking about naming him. I have a name that is picked out and I think it would be perfect for him because of his coloring for sure. All right, we've got 2F right here who's probably close to our second darkest pup. I love her paws. She's so cute and she's going a little far. Luckily, Caleb is on it, keeping an eye on her. Look at that, what a good dad. Let's see, there's Wendy who's just napping away. Oh my gosh, Wendy, you are so precious. I think Wendy, that I think this pup was perfect for Wendy. Absolutely beautiful and so sweet. All right, and here is 5F, who's also napping. She's very tired, but she seems to be pretty social. They're all really close together, which I love to see. And then we're back to me. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Oh, there's two in the den. That's why. They just were like, nah. <laughs> They must be very, very tired. So we'll have to look at the other two another day. We're gonna let Charm sleep just for a second. But I have a lot of name suggestions from before, so I'll probably go off of those. If you guys want to continue to leave name suggestions, please feel free, but I'll probably choose from the original. Um, but I have one name that I've definitely picked out, but I'm gonna need to pick five more because Charm had all seven pups, which I am so happy for her about. All right. Well, I don't wanna do an outro at the den because we all know how that goes and I'm terrified of that. <laughs> so we're gonna feed them and then we'll probably end it. Oh, babies. We could tell them to go in the den and then end it. I just, I don't want to risk anything. We've had so many accidents by me doing outros or intros by the den. Not gonna do it again. <laughs> I have learned my lesson, folks. Finally. <laughs>
It only took how many pup deaths to learn my- Look at they're so- They're so behaved. Like, they're still hungry, and I told them to go in, and bam, they did it. I'm so proud. I'm so proud. Alright, y'all. Well, if you liked this episode, make sure you give the like button a tickle and a poke. Subscribe to join our family if you haven't already, and if you have, thank you so much. Make sure to jingle the bell to get notifications of when I post any of these Wolf Quest story arcs that we're going through, and join the Discord so you can talk with me and the community every single day. Also, as an addition, don't forget to follow me on Twitch because we are streaming Aurora live. And I do stream highlights, but some of that stuff gets cut out, so you might want to come and watch me live and chat with me, uh, and that would be a lot of fun. All right, guys, thanks again for watching. I love you, and I will see you next time for more Wolf Quest. Bye!